wouldn't stare. People just uh, are fascinated with them, just like uh, any other kind of creature that can be dangerous to them. They're, they get a chance to walk up to one, touch one, learn about it, ask questions, anything like that. We try to educate people the best we can on them. This is the 31st rattlesnake rodeo. It gets bigger every year, and this year the weather couldn't be better. If you're not partial to snakes, there's plenty of other things to do. Live bands provide music all day, and there are 200 arts and crafts and concession stands where you can get a traditional hot dog and not-so-traditional rattlesnake earrings. Don't you get the feeling your throat's gonna get bitten? Well, no. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. <laughs> For years, this was the only place you could come and try fried rattlesnake, but they had some complaints a couple of years ago, so they quit doing it. But the president of the JC says they had so many people wanting them to cook it again, they decided to do it this year. So with a dollar and a little courage, you can try some fried rattlesnake. Of course, like anything different, you fry it and... Tastes just like chicken. So I'll get some chicken, she says. The day also included snake demonstrations, how to milk one and how to get bitten by one. The milking isn't just for show. They'll use the venom to make anti-venom for snake bite victims. The JCs say if the weather cooperates again tomorrow, it will probably be a record-breaking